Welcome to my channel. My name is Ava. I make all kinds of videos. This is the first video in a series that I hope to be doing over the course of the next month. It's going to be an experiment. Can real girls make real money from Poshmark? I first heard about Poshmark on YouTube. There are many big YouTubers that I watch that were sponsored by Poshmark to make videos. They would get on there and talk about how much they loved Poshmark. They would list their closet names and say, you know, oh, I love selling my clothes, yada, yada, yada. You sign up with my code and, you know, leave your closet name below. So I think I ended up signing up after one of those videos, but I didn't really understand what the app was about. And then I would go to these closets of some of my favorite YouTubers and they didn't have much on there. They didn't really interact. I felt like it was just kind of a sponsored video for nothing. So I just kind of left it alone. Fast forward some months, you know, I still hear a lot of buzz about Poshmark, Poshmark. I'm actually pregnant with my second son and I started looking, yes, pregnant. I'm due a month from today. I'm filming this August 5th. I'm due September 5th. So um, I started looking for different ways to make money, you know, the whole side hustle thing. I have a full-time job, but I'm about to be on maternity leave. I'm not going to be making as much money and I wanted to still be able to contribute to my family. So I decided let me see if I can put some listings up on Poshmark and make some extra money. Excuse me. <laughs> I started looking through my closet and I listed a couple things that I thought might make some money and a couple of things actually did sell. Then I came across some YouTube videos of people who were serious about selling. You know, they weren't just selling from their own closet. They were going thrifting, finding great deals on great clothes and making some great money reselling those clothes. So I started taking some notes and that's when I decided, you know what, this is something I think I can enjoy. This is something I wanna try. So I have sold a few things over the last month. I've listed quite a bit from my own closet, but I've also been taking notes from some of these professional resellers, you know, just as far as like what's trending now, brands now, I feel a little bit out of the loop because ever since I had my first son three years ago I really haven't been buying a lot of fashionable things for myself you can see I'm wearing just in all black I put on these earrings just to try to snazz it up a little bit for you but I'm gonna be showing you today some things that I got from my very first thrift run um, just to add to the things that I had listed on my personal closet I will leave my closet name below if you make these type of videos, let me know in the comments. If you have a Poshmark closet, definitely leave your closet. I would love to go on there and share your closet to my followers. And hopefully you can do the same. But I have a couple of piles here that I'm going to be showing you. The first pile is going to be some items that I picked up from a thrift store after doing some studying on different brands and styles that might sell pretty well on Poshmark. One of my favorite finds is this Show Me Your Moo Moo. It's a ruffled crop top and um, this is new with tags. It's supposed to be a pretty hot brand. It retails originally for $106 and I found this for about six dollars new with tags there were actually two of them in a couple there were three of them in different sizes I just picked up one because like I said I'm just starting off I don't even know if this stuff is actually gonna sell so I didn't want to go crazy this next one is just a graphic tee it's the brand is happening in the present <laughs> it's kind of um, sheer as you can see but it's just a graphic LAT with some cute sleeves. I did see one of these listed on Poshmark, but it was really wrinkly. It didn't look as cute as mine. <laughs> no shade, I'm just saying. The next is this Bizu Bizu 
snake print high low dress um, I thought that was really fun all of these things I got for great deals the thrift store that I have been shopping at is called weave works weave stands for women escaping violent environments i believe it is an organization that serves victims of domestic violence so all the proceeds that they make from selling their clothes go to that it's not just for women they've opened it up for men as well but <laughs> the next thing is this bebop dress and i just thought it was a cute fun dress with a really cute zipper detail on the back it may not you know, actually sell for that much, but I got it for $2.99, so I figured it was worth the gamble. The next thing is a pair of loft boyfriend jeans, and um, the boyfriend jeans are supposed to be one of the biggest selling. They're slightly distressed. They're still in really great condition. They actually, to me, they don't look like they've been worn. I don't know, maybe they have, but they're button fly, just really cute. The next thing I found are these Cabby jeans. Now, um, I didn't know anything about the brand Cabby. These are, I don't know if you could tell, but they're like a blush pink. They're a straight leg stretch jean. Again, these look to me like they've never been worn. I didn't know about the brand Cabby until I started doing some research. Then, unfortunately, you know, after I was so excited from finding these at the thrift store, and then I found out, like, this is the old tag, and the old tag doesn't do quite as well. But, um, you know, again, all of these things I got at really great prices, and so I figured it was worth the gamble. So, all of those things are currently listed in my store. I went to Weaveworks again today and picked up some more things. I don't think these items will be as high in profit but again i got them at really great prices so we'll see this is an exhilaration dress i just thought it was so pretty uh, it's a target brand so i probably won't get that much money for it but it was a great price so you know even if i just end up listing it for 15 and get either that or ten dollars i'll still make some money this is an adrian top i tried to look up the brand i don't know i thought this was pretty too it's, it has like kind of a deep um v almost like a tunic top but it has a little stitch right here to hold it closed but i just thought it was not necessarily my style but it looked like a lot of the things I see going around on Poshmark, so I don't know. <laughs> this is a Dana Buckman. I know it's a Kohl's brand. I just thought it was kind of pretty. Maybe I'm showing my age <laughs> because I'm not necessarily super on trend, but this looked like something that was, even though Dana Buckman was kind of still catering to a younger crowd, I was really excited to find these White House Black Market denim capris. I know we're getting towards the end of summer, but you know, they also look brand new. They're size 14. I heard that larger sizes do really well on Poshmark. There's this funky tag on here trying to make it look like it's new with tags. Even though it, to me looks like it's new with tags, I may not list it like that because it's just like the type of tag that you could um, pin on. So who knows if it's actually new with tags. So those were items that I found today. Probably this will be my highest profit item from today. I think about six items for $19 altogether. So that comes to about $3.16 per item. Ooh, there's one shirt I didn't show you. I put it off to the side because when I got home, I found out it had a flaw. Let me get that one. Okay, so this is the shirt that um, I kind of put to the side. I thought it was cute. It's full tilt, which I don't really know anything about this brand either, but 
once I got home, I saw that the side is kind of ripped. And so I'm gonna still list it and I'm gonna disclose the flaw. Um, it may be a loss. Like I said, everything came out to $3.16. So whatever I get for this, even if I just get my money back, I'll be happy with that. So today is August 5th. So far this month, I've made two sales, which is not good. The first was a pair of wedge shoes that were from my closet. The second was a little graphic tee that was from my closet. Neither of them were big profit items. What I plan on doing is tracking my sales and coming on here and telling you guys about it so those things are um well one's in the mail one i have to package and send tomorrow because today is sunday some other items that i have listed from my own closet that i'm gonna show you here these coach shoes they're a little bit worn you could see um but they're still really cute they're very cute with anything denim. I love these shoes, but like I said, I'm trying to make some extra money. These are my Jordan sneakers. I actually just changed the cover photo and relisted them yesterday because, uh, and lowered the price. I had them listed for $120. You know, they're by no means new because I've had them for years, but uh, they're very popular shoes. I was hoping they would sell at 120. I lowered the price to 99 and retook the photos. So we'll see if that does anything. And then I have a bunch of other shoes that, you know, I've tried to wear because I thought they were really cute. These are Madden Girl size 10, I believe. Yeah, size 10. I just thought they were cute. They're kind of velvety. You can see they've got a little bit of dust on them. And they have like a ruffle detail. So I thought they were so cute. They're kind of like a platform that's built in there, but I just can't wear them. <laughs> As you can see, I think I've worn them once. Um, these next couple of shoes are also shoes that I purchased thinking that I was some kind of diva. <laughs> In reality, I can't walk in these shoes. I've had these, I don't know for how long, and they're barely worn. I think I wore them once. These ones are Ava and Zoe. They're originally $89. I bought them for $59. I think I have them listed in my closet for like $35. I've been getting a lot of comments on these next ones. I really like these. They're G by Guess. They are also like a platform studded open toe booty. Wore them, I think, one time also. But they're so cute. I really like them, but yeah. I think it was like New Year's Eve I wore them. And that's it. Those are listed. Some Aldo boots. I bought these a while back. They're like leather. They're mostly leather. I don't know if they're real leather. They have a zip on the side, faux fur on the inside. Really soft. I had some brown ones like these, which is why I bought the black ones. And then I think these ended up just being a little bit too small and I never ended up returning them. Like I said, they're mostly either leather or pleather and then on the side it's some other type of fabric. I don't know what type of fabric it is, but I really like them, but they don't really fit. So, I mean, they're just a tad too small. You know, it's like this, the type of shoes that fit your feet, but then when you wear them for a couple hours, you're like, okay, I have to get these off. So. Those are listed. I have more shoes that are listed. I'm not gonna go through all the shoes. Definitely visit my closet and you can see the rest of them. A couple of items that I also have from my stash. This purse, it's a genuine white leather. Um, cats made in Spain. Um, it has one flaw. 
I think this seam is sewn backwards and then on the inside there's like some I don't know if you can see it it's on the very bottom there's like a little stain from an open ballpoint pen or something but other than that it's in pretty good condition so I have that listed and then this cute little Michael Kors purse. It's just, I think what they call like a jet set crossbody bag. And it has some pockets for your cards on the inside. Enough room for like your phone and lip gloss, you know. This one has some flaws that you can see some scratches if you're looking at the right angle, but I listed those and pic took pictures of them. There's also this Coach crossbody bag. It's pretty cute. So that's listed. This is like an evening bag. It's beaded. Doo -doo. There's no brand on this, it's just a cute little snap bag. Some other things that I took some pictures of but haven't listed. This is a Jessica McClintock purse slash clutch. You can open it and um, if you put the chain inside, that's where it becomes the clutch. But I took pictures of this. I was about to list it yesterday. And uh, there's a ton of these on Poshmark, so I was like, eh, nobody's waiting for mine. I will list it, but I just haven't gotten to it. This is a Grace Adele. It's actually a fake leather purse. Here's the inside. has pockets for your cards again. This also can be a clutch because you can take these off. So it can be either crossbody or a clutch. Grace Adele is a brand that is sold by Scentsy. If you've heard of those wickless candles, that's what that is. So anyways, back to my experiment. Can real girls make real money from Poshmark? A lot of the people whose videos I've been watching recently said that they just kind of fell into the business of reselling. And I just thought it was so intriguing. I just wanted to know, is this something I can do for myself? Is this something I can make into a legitimate side income? Maybe one day full-time full income. So join me on my journey. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be chronicling this and talking about different things. Um, if you have any tips for me, leave them below. Any advice, let me know. I don't really know what I'm doing 100% yet, but I'm trying to get there. And I believe that I can. So... Let's see. Thanks for watching.